the most essential question which everybody asks in interview right but most of the time you are not able to answer that the people every time ask you the difference between git pull and git fetch right so what is the difference between git pull and git fetch right so whenever we are doing git pull right what it does right it basically pulls all the changes and does a merge and runs a git merge let's say i do not have all the latest changes here right so let me go ahead and see if anyone has created any branch here i think kuldeep has created one branch 15 minutes ago right so i am going to go ahead and merge this here guys anyone can approve it and merge it quickly if there will be conflict then please resolve that else also let me resolve the conflicts and you just approve it yeah vikas has approved it so i'm going to merge it so now do you see i have one branch which i, I had one kuldeep branch which has which i have merged to my master branch but do i see those changes here locally if i check out to master here in the test i do not see those changes which kuldeep has made right now what happens when i do git pull so it basically pulls whatever changes are in the master repository or whatever it is and after it pulls it and it automatically runs one git merge right so that all your changes are merged locally now if you see here git pull so what it does exactly right it started tracking the branches unpacking your branches right it cloned it right and it found two changes here it found one branches and one merge branches updated branch in the here right and once all changes are here it started one fast forward merge right and added <coughs> one plus changes you see one file changed one ins insertion was there so automatically it ran it cloned your code and merged it right what happens if you do git fetch instead of you do git pull right git fetch doesn't run git merge right it will you know pull your latest changes right and once your changes are pulled you'll have to manually merge it this is the main difference between git pull and git merge although both are doing same things pulling your latest changes but git fetch is not merging the merging them and git pull is to merging them automatically so let's go ahead and see again this let me see if anyone has created some more branches here i see all are merged so let me quickly do this so i'm going to create one branch from master with the name of fetch looks good to me i'll make one change quickly let's go at popo well commit it here right and let's merge it a baseball request and well again i think because we can merge it quickly so you can see i have created one branch and requested because to approve and merge it Vikas has successfully merged this branch into my master. Uh, so you can see Vikas has successfully merged this first branch into the master, right? Now what I do is I don't have those changes at this moment, so I'm gonna do git 
fetch so what has happened do you see it it has pulled your latest changes there are two changes but those changes has not been merged here it was merged right now if i do get status guys it says branch is behind origin master by two commit and can be fast forward merge right but it says you can you can do the uh, basically uh, it says you can do git merge basically uh, i think you can do git pull instead right so here what you will have to do is you will have to merge those changes that's a git merge can can you just show me the file that here i am pretty sure 99% time you will never do run the git git fetch even and never you know use it in, in in any of my environment but it may be that that's basically people ask it most frequently in that time you will have to merge it right so just to git merge right and whatever the branch you have right what was the branch which we cloned so, now you can see once we run this fast forward merge now you can see the changes which was locally in my system but which was not merged now it shows it has been merged you can see here right now if you validate them right you can see the change i made Let's say now we're gonna work with Git revert, right? And Git logs, right? Let's say क्या होता है कभी बहुत सारे ऐसे scenarios होते हैं कि आपने कोई भी changes करे but आपको यार थोड़ी देर के बाद लगा हो मुझे तो ये change नहीं करने चाहिए थे but मैंने commit कर दिया, right? I need to roll it back. और sometimes कभी कभी ऐसे situation हो सकते हैं कि you have pushed your changes to the remote repository. Now you thought that no वो changes नहीं है we should revert that, right? How to do that, right? The one thing you know what exactly is the issue right edit that file make changes commit it and push it to the remote right the another thing is you directly check the you know checksum of your commits and push it right so let's say what i'm going to do now is i am going to instead of master i am going to play over let's say i play in master i'll not push those changes at this moment right so first of all let's say i want to see the logs right what i will do is git log right jaise hi main git log karta hu guys what will happen is jitne bhi maine changes abhi tak kare honge ya jitne bhi merge mere is repository mein hue honge right you will be able to see those all changes here since the beginning right and you will see one checksum there ek hash number is there right which holds basically your changes right for example right so i am not going to revert those merged changes at this moment so what i will do is let's say i did some changes here right and i did git add git commit right and now i realized that i shouldn't have done this <coughs> right either i have done git push right i now i realized I should not do this. I will not be able to push it because my master is protected. What I did is I realized that I shouldn't have made this change. Either I have pushed it, I, or either I came to know now, right? So what will happen now is I'll need to do git logs, right? And just find the change which I think which is incorrect, right? It will show you this is the commit which is wrong, which shouldn't have been done. right so i will select this hash from here i will scroll it down right i will say get revert and will paste this hash 
once you hit here right so it will ask you to give some comment why exactly you are doing this so you just need to write the comment here uh, this change is not needed anymore right and just go ahead and save it right so what it will do is it will add the previous <coughs> you see this commit has been reverted right one file change one deletion is there right now if you go ahead and see if this change has been deleted yes that change has been deleted and if you go ahead and do git log and just go up see guys the change has been done but one revert commit is there right which says this change has been reverted but it may be sometime it may happen you as a developer or developer or whatever it is right as a devops it mean made some changes to the file Right, I'm just writing change to be reverted, right? And I did git push, sorry, git add star, git commit, git commit, change needed, or put anything you need, right? And you pushed it. So I'm directly pushing it to master at this moment, but you will never do it. You will uh, push it to the branches itself. But somehow it has been merged, then that is the issue, right? So you can see the changes has been pushed to remote. Right? You see here. Okay. <coughs> now, if you here, you can see raw blame and streak. And you can see <coughs> if you go to blame here right you will see each and everything here when and who made the changes here is the changes this is the commit done by chandrasekhar this is the update done by chandrasekhar this is by vikas this is by kuldeep and so on and so forth right and these are the lines which has been added right exactly before the name of the people right here again you have a history also here you can go ahead and find the history here also who has made all the changes <coughs> here right and here is the basically checksum of that basically you know you can see the commit code right which we was getting from the git logs so you can get it from here as well right and see what changes were done there right so now that's up to you guys uh, if you want to revert it from here itself right you, you go here and make some changes and you know just do it otherwise again the same thing for you do git log find the bet commit which was this right change needed just come down do git reward and paste your commit hit enter and put one commit uh, this change was impacting something yeah right so i'll save it i'll quit right now again i will do git status right there is nothing to commit that has been reverted yet so let's do git push So you can see again you are the changes which has been reverted that has been pushed successfully to my branch. Alright, you can see the commit is there also. This change has been reverted. So you can get those from here blame and history and you know see it here also. Alright, and who has exactly made those changes? There. So go here and find it.
if you want to validate the changes what exactly going to happen so you need to go here and hit enter i'm sorry i need to get the another one so just get this commit all right and <coughs> right this way this is going to show you the differences between these two commits right if you see the diff here right and the chains needed to be reverted this is the difference between a and b if you see here that mean minus that mean plus right so this way you can find the differences between the file and resolve revert them